For maximum protection of your beagle bone and power cape, you should use proper static handling techniques, including a static mat and wrist stirrup if possible. The power cape comes packaged in a static bag and the accessories are included in a separate bag. Inside the accessory bag are a microfit pigtail for the DC power connector, a JST pigtail for the battery connector, and an MTA connector for the cape's opto connector. We sell extra pigtails in our shop, but the batteries that we sell already have a JST connector attached. A quick note about board compatibility. The power cape will work with the BeagleBone Black and the BeagleBone Green. However, the BeagleBone Green Wireless has an additional USB connector that will interfere with the cape. This will be fixed in a future version of the power cape. Note that the power cape doesn't come with headers. We do carry both non-stacking headers and stacking headers in our shop. Decide which ones you need and then solder them to the cape. Attach your cape to the BeagleBone and connect the battery and or DC power, but don't use the BeagleBone DC jack. The power cape takes its place now. When the cape is first powered, it will not start up the BeagleBone, but by default it will power up on DC restoration. Therefore, if you connect the battery first, expect the BeagleBone to power up. No kernel changes or overlays are required to use the power cape. The cape watches header voltages to determine when the BeagleBone powers down. When it does, it removes system power completely. In this way, system quiescent current is reduced to less than 100 microamps. The power cape can power up the BeagleBone on a button press, opto isolator trigger, or a programmable timeout. Once running, Linux utilities can query the cape for battery voltage and current, DC power status, system time, etc. For more information, visit our website at andislabs.com. The source for our utilities are on GitHub. Links to both are in the description. Thank you for watching.